In Ezekiel 33, well, let me share this with you. There are a lot of takeaway truths, a lot of application that we could walk away with from our time and daily in the Word to apply to our lives immediately. But I'd like to just share maybe one simple truth, and that's this idea of a watchman. Did you see that in Ezekiel 33? where God considers this individual to be a watchman over his people. Now this idea of a watchman, well, it carries with it the understanding that the person is watching, that the person is vigilant, kind of like head on a swivel, paying attention to what's around them. Well, for what purpose? Well, let me read to you from the book of 1 Peter, how Peter encouraged the watchmen of his day to carry themselves comes from 1 Peter chapter 5. I'll be reading from the New King James Version. Listen to verse 2. Shepherd the flock of God, which is among you, serving as overseers, not by compulsion, but willingly, not for dishonest gain, but eagerly. You see, in the New Testament, we see that spiritual leaders are to be those that, just like watchmen of Ezekiel 33, are looking out for others, shepherding, caring. Now, no matter your position in a church, or your family, or your community, God has set you as the watchman of your soul, the sphere of your influence. And I want to encourage you today to be on the lookout. Well, for what? Well, elsewhere in 1 Peter it says this, verse 8, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. See, today, Be on the watch for what God is doing, but also for what the enemy would like to do in destroying the work of God in your life. Today, be a watchman.